There are 24 Democratic candidates running for president, and one of the least known of those candidates may have benefited more from last week's debates than many of the big names did. Local 44's Mike Hoey spoke with an expert from Champlain College about why he's getting a bump on social media. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Hi, Mike. Hi, Glenn. Maybe the key point here, it's certainly easier to grow your social media presence significantly when you're starting from a few hundred thousand Twitter followers than if you already have nearly 18 million. That's what Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' two official Twitter accounts add up to. Tech entrepreneur Andrew Yang may have been the quietest Democratic presidential candidate on the NBC News debate stage in Miami last Thursday. But according to the New York Post, he gained more than 100,000 new Twitter followers by the next morning, the most of anyone in the Democratic field. I think that this is just a reflection of people didn't know him. Dr. Elaine Young teaches digital and social media marketing at Champlain College. She says a candidate like Yang has more of an opportunity to grow a social media following quickly than someone like Bernie Sanders. If there's a debate that happens that people are watching and there's a set of people on there they've never heard of and they are Twitter users or Instagram users, one of the first things they're going to do is to see, hey, who is this person and do I want to follow them and learn more about them? Dr. Young says social media have become a potent method for political figures to bypass the inevitable filtering of the mainstream news media. Twitter in particular, but also Instagram now as well, uh, they are really the direct path from the politician to the voter. And uh, so it is the opportunity for the politician to be able to say what they want to say and the way they want to say it. There may not be a better example of this than President Trump, America's tweeter in chief. His way of communicating directly to his constituents and to the American people has kind of broken down some barriers. But it's also worth noting that the Iowa caucuses, the first votes in the campaign that actually mean something, are still seven months away. Follower counts are never an indicator of success or not. A follow on Twitter does not necessarily mean that that equates to a vote. And to help drive that home, the next Democratic debates are at the end of the month, the 30th and 31st. To get on the stage in Detroit, the candidates need to use the same criteria for last week in Miami, at least 1% support in three separate polls, or at least 65,000 campaign donations, so social media likes and followers aren't a part of it. Live in the newsroom, Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. Mike, thank you. A change to New York's Republican Party.